global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Hmm. It looks like right now Nigerians have been fielding um, very aged men. Uh, should I call it repackaged? Some people will call it refurbished product. Okay, these guys have been in the scene of politics corridor of power for 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 years, for decades. Hey, so much as they keep staring us in the faces at our faces, keep coming to our screen every day. Uh, it, don't forget that they are also adding age and also a quick one they're also human okay when you keep seeing that they are sick they are human they, they go through weather they go through down moments but you know how they recover how they go about it matters a great deal a lot of them don't even live in nigeria so for for, for a long time sometimes some of these um, packages are well done such a way that um, you may even forget that they're actually aging as the year roll by there are video clips going on right now health status of um article bubaka nigerians are still screaming and shouting over the health status of um of bola akbar to bubaka's own came as a shock to most nigerians because he looks quite um young he looks young but then the question is how old is his original age you know, the Fulanis have this capacity of always looking younger than they are. As it's a gift, I must say, it's a gift to them. But let's find out exactly what is going on behind the scene when it comes to the issue of the health status of um, Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate, flag bearer of AP, uh, PDP. Doubt over the health status of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, have continued to rise following the emergence of a video footage showing the former vice president leaping after recently returning to the country. Atiku, who is currently vying to become the president of Nigeria in 2023, is said to be suffering from an undisclosed ailment, which is said to be reason for his recent trip abroad. In the video, Atiku is seen leaping gently am amidst a horde of supporters and then led a waiting SUV where he is assisted in putting on a seatbelt. The footage was taken after he landed in Nigeria from Morocco last week. Prior to that, he had been in Spain for weeks. Whoa, this is really strong. Very quickly, while in, in another news, before going to the full analysis of the status of um, Atiku, health status of Atiku, an elder statesman, Tanku Yakasi, has described himself as a very lucky man to be alive after exposing President Mahmoud Bari's lack of capacity to govern even before he was elected into office in 2015. Yakasi, who stated this in an interview, explained that when he raised the alarm, those who were supporters of the then candidate of the Up Progressive Congress APC almost went for his head. He declared that when Buhari came in 2014-2015, Northerners and Southerners came together to say he was the one. Remember, I came out and cautioned Nigerians. I said clearly that, that Buhari was not competent, that he has no capacity to govern. I was lucky at the time, otherwise I would have been killed by Buhari die hearts. Now by divine intervention, a lot of people now are wiser, a lot of people who believed then that Buhari was the right person at that time now know that he is not well that's actually in the past right now nigerians actually be mourning their feet we are not looking forward to solutions instead of dwelling in the past that cannot be changed anymore okay but let's look at what people are saying concerning the health status of um article babaka this person here say age is not on his side he is about 75 years and needs to keep fit always mm, that's strong and that person here say both article and tinubu are off in terms of age and fitness level another person answered by saying who told you they are 75 these people are above 90 years before someone can be so be as old as this he must have been up to 90 it doesn't follow good health matters <laughs> another person here said let him go and rest haba now by force and that person here saying haba they are not 95 years 95 years old yet now when they are not my grandpa Although they are expired commodity Nigerians. This one here say, Well, I totally agree with you. They are not up to 95. But they definitely are not fit to be on that seat health wise. Okay, Nigerians are talking. 
and some persons don't believe that they're up to 95 75 maybe 95 that's a bit too high and that person here is saying 2023 is still far before then the kingmaker himself will make a way for his own choice that's a very deep statement this young man just made he didn't say anything terrible but then he made a deep statement in fact if you listen to that statement again it's a very deep one and i also not interpret it either this person here said that you should go home and attend to his health instead of all this running around for presidency we cannot afford to to have another buhari nasorok who spent most of his first in first term in office attending to his health so baba will love you probably will even love you more to be with your family playing with your grandchildren and great grandchildren there is time for everything and everything has time all right but um looking at it i think one of the challenges africa has is that we always have this ability this affinity to always elect old men is it for wisdom and if it is for wisdom how come nigeria is still not the giant of africa despite the fact that it's the most populous black nation in the world so if it is not wisdom if it is not wisdom then what is it that old men find their way into into the city of corridor and city of power and the youth are languishing with their strength the truth be told nigeria is such a country that requires you to be alert 24 hours a day coupled with the fact that right now nigeria is going through a lot when it comes to insecurity economically and uh, division on different lines so 247 negative reports every day on every side just recently I think some few hours or minutes ago, some people were crying wolf that a few minutes ago, really, as I time finding this report, that in our Mamba, some are claiming that's actually ESN, and uh, that is a Bobago security outfit that brought down 14 youths. Uh, whatever reasons, we have no idea. We don't have full details on that yet. Uh, but the youths are crying and screaming while they are trying to get PVCs ready. Some things sinister most are going on that are really not edifying. We need to come together as one and begin to look. Look, we need to defend our lands. Okay, you should be security conscious. If you see something, say something. Okay, help these security agencies to help us in turn. Because the truth of the matter is Nigeria has not been this insecure in a very very long while it's as if the insecurity in nigeria is signaling bandits all over africa to come down to africa and try their hands in nigeria and how many youth do we even have how many people do we have in the military you know that can secure over, over 200 million nigerians up out of that out of that hundreds of thousands of military officials if it's even up to hundreds of thousands of military officers and their security agencies half of it or even on one third or one tenth of it is already been attached to prominent people, pastors, men of God, celebrities, musicians, uh, uh, the popular ones, uh, politicians, uh, senators, uh, lawmakers, ministers, you just name it. All of them have orderlies and security business. So you now see that we have a situation in our hands. Let's listen to that conversation.